Could Proxima be another Earth-like planet? These are speculations everyone keeps making. The search for an alternative habitable planet and alien life on other planets is something that humans are fascinated with. There have been various speculations, and the fact that there have been signals coming from the planet is making people believe there is more to it. Despite all these signs, we have yet to determine if this is a message from the planet or an echo of our scientists' signals. Often, these signals always end up as echoes. In finding out whether these signals are from Proxima, scientists can tell if alien life exists. The James Webb Telescope just detected artificial lights on Proxima b. If you're interested in learning about other planets and where our progress in finding alternate life is, subscribe to our channel. We make content about outer space and talk about innovations in science. If you like this content, comment below and share this video with your friends. Now let's go back into our video. Proxima Centauri, about 4.2 light years from our solar system, is a faint dwarf star classified as G0V. Thus, the star is known as Proxima Centauri. It is the closest to our Sun and solar system and was named Alpha Centauri and Horologium by Johann Bayer in 1603. The name came from the star's ascension at noon while several celestial bodies like the Moon and the Sun were in a straight line. Proxima Centauri is also known as Alpha Centauri A or Alpha Centauri. It is a single star system with four main stars in a line, with Proxima Centauri at the center of this system. Apart from the four stars, there are two faint dwarfs, Alpha Centauri A, also called Rigel Centaurus, and Alpha Centauri B. These make up the bulk of the mass but are too faint to be seen by the naked eye. The system is located 0.3 degrees away from the border of the famous Plow Asterism in the constellation of Centaurus. Even though Proxima b is a rocky planet, there is still hope that it might have extraterrestrial life. The search for any other life out there has brought scientists to Proxima b, and they believe the similarities to Earth's size and the distance it is from its dwarf star make it a viable option for planets that can accommodate life. While all these are speculations, there's hope there might be some truth. There is much to learn about Proxima b and the orbit it takes, so stay tuned and find out. You can also check out some of our other content related to extraterrestrials. Do you really believe there's another life out there? Leave a comment down below. What fascinates most people about Proxima b is its similarity to Earth. Studies show that Proxima b is an exoplanet that orbits an M-type star, and its mass is considered to be 1.27 times that of Earth. Besides, Proxima b takes 11.5 days to complete an orbit of its star. It was discovered in 2016, and many scientists are looking into it. Even though Proxima b looks similar to Earth, certain features make it uninhabitable. For one, the planet is too close to its star and, as such, keeps getting extreme ultraviolet radiation from the star, estimated to be hundreds of times more than the radiation we get from the sun. The radiation is so strong that it strips away even the lightest hydrogen molecules, and over time, it does the same to oxygen and nitrogen. While most people might argue that Proxima b should be habitable because it is also the same distance from its star as Earth is from the Sun, there is more to it than meets the eye. Length does not consider whether there is water on the planet. There is also no evidence of an atmosphere conducive to living things. The atmosphere on Earth is what makes it habitable and not Mars. The right atmosphere makes it possible for climate regulation on a water-friendly surface. It also shields living organisms from hazardous space weather. If you're with us so far and have not subscribed yet, take a second to hit the subscribe button. It makes it easy for us to keep creating content like this that you'll love. Now let's look at why people think that the James Webb Telescope will help us figure out if there is life on Proxima b. The James Webb Telescope was launched in 2018 after being delayed since 2011. Many changes had to be made to ensure it gave accurate images during production. Loeb explained that if a planet like Proxima b could absorb light from its star, it could also emit it as infrared light. The James Webb Telescope was explicitly invented to observe infrared light. It can take photos of this light on the surface of a planet and look for patterns that might confirm if the planet has water or an atmosphere. One of the reasons why space telescopes are preferred over ground-based ones is that by being above the atmosphere, they don't have to peer through the shifting air to see deep into space. Therefore, they get a better view of what goes on outside the solar system than most ground telescopes can achieve. 
The other advantage they come with is that weather changes on Earth do not affect them, and astronomers can be sure they're getting a clear reading. The only downside to having a space telescope is that fixing it is expensive. If something goes wrong, there have been cases where a small flaw in a space telescope requires a whole mission into space to fix it. Such costs make observing planets like Proxima be difficult. With the James Webb Telescope, we have no option for rescue. It has been launched over 1.5 million kilometers away, further than any human has ever traveled, so rescue missions are not an option. The James Webb Telescope comes with a larger mirror, which allows us to see way back to the beginning of the universe, almost 13.7 billion years ago. The further away an object is, the further in time we get to see it. The reason for this is that it takes a while for the light to travel from an object back to us. The ability of the James Webb Space Telescope to see the universe in a longer wavelength, in infrared light, means we get to see more distant galaxies in our universe with more certainty than was previously possible. Therefore, observing planets like Proxima b has become easier, and it has pushed the light out of the visible range and into the infrared. Tabor and Loeb have a scale of artificial illumination as a fraction of how the sun illuminates and reflects on the day side of the planet. At 0% on the scale, one would assume that the planet's night side is completely dark and has no illumination. At 100%, it means that the planet's night side is just as bright as the day side. There has been a hypothetical civilization on Proxima b using this type of light, and most scientists believe it is similar to the early days on Earth with the spectrum. The studies show that if the night side of Proxima b reaches an illumination of 5% of the natural day side, then the James Webb Telescope could detect the artificial light by 85%. If the illumination reached 9%, the telescope would detect up to 95%. Even though 5% illumination sounds like a small number, we're talking about the light from a star as far as Proxima Centauri compared to our sun, and we have an illumination that is 20,000 times dimmer. Even then, we still have a lot of light from our star. This basically means that at 0.01% of illumination, we are still reflected in the stellar illumination. In other words, if Proxima b has any civilization in disguise glowing like Earth, then the James Webb Telescope would not detect it. The stars would need to be about 500 times brighter. In this scenario, it is impossible since Proxima b orbits so closely to its host star. There is a chance that it might be tidally locked, meaning one side of the planet always faces the star while the other is in perpetual night. The planet might need to focus on illuminating infrastructure and get very bright orbital mirrors to reflect sunlight from one side to the night side of the planet. All these are speculations made by Tabor and Loeb. There is yet proof to show that it is true. The Earth's illumination can be seen from outer space and is known as airglow. Most people wonder why the world is surrounded by bright shades of red, yellow, green, and purple light whenever it is viewed from 300 miles above its surface. The airglow happens when atoms and molecules in the upper atmosphere produce light to release excess energy. On Earth, the airglow can happen when atoms and molecules get ionized by sunlight and capture our free electrons. The glow seems similar to an aura, save that auras are driven by high-energy particles from the solar wind. The airglow is driven daily by solar radiation. Since the James Webb Telescope's launch, scientists have been asking whether it is sufficient to view other planets in faraway galaxies. Even though it is the furthest satellite telescope launched, it still provides very little data we need to come to planets with life in other galaxies. As such, there have been conversations to see if bigger and better telescopes can be made. These ventures are often costly and take a lot of trial and error. The James Webb Space Telescope launch was seven years late because of these issues. Therefore, it's hard for most scientists to develop better innovations that can be launched further into space. Despite this, the James Webb Space Telescope results are pretty promising. Soon we'll know if there is life on Proxima b and other planets. While work is still being done on more telescopes, it is believed that the completion and launch of the Habitable Exoplanet Observatory, HabEx, will revolutionize space study. The estimated completion time of HabEx is 2035, and launching will happen almost immediately after. HabEx will be sensitive to all planets in the universe. Although its main objective is to search for Earth-like planets, its advanced technology will enable it to measure the spectra on most planets and see if they are habitable. HabEx is also believed to have a broad range of astrophysics. 
This feature will enable HabEx to study the earliest possible times in the universe's history. It will be able to gather information and understand the life cycle and deaths of massive stars, as well as the elements that support life as we know it. Even though HabEx is still in manufacturing, the technology used to make it will allow HabEx to study Earth-like planets at such excellent resolution. The images from these planets will be so clear since HabEx will be sensitive to ultraviolet, near-infrared, and optical photons. The concept behind HabEx is quite compelling and will change space study as we know it. The concept of HabEx sounds so ambitious, and if it can be pulled off, then space study will change as we know it. People can look forward to more information on extraterrestrial life on other planets. It also gives a better picture of Earth since it can look back many more years before the civilization of the world and the changes that have happened with our climate. Lover's idea is a smaller version of a telescope but still builds on our experience with the James Webb Space Telescope. It has ultraviolet capabilities and is considered the next observatory telescope to be used by most astronomers. Astronomers plan on launching it simultaneously with HabEx, and the large UV optical IR surveyor will greatly enhance space study. Test studies done with Louvoir show that it will be able to understand what makes Earth stand out from the rest. Several observations have been made of 28 Earth-like planets, and the results have been promising. With such telescopes and manufacturing, details about planets like Proxima b can be clearer. Even though the James Webb Space Telescope has made great strides in discovering new details about Proxima b, there is still much to be done. Better visibility of other planets and being able to look at atmospheres differently are required to help answer the question of whether there is extraterrestrial life. It also gives a deeper insight into the planet's history and looks at the changes that have happened over the years. Ever wonder what would happen if we discovered extraterrestrial life? Worry not. We have videos on our channel that talk about this and many more. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification button to get notified whenever we post new content. The conversation about life on other planets has been going on for a while now. Most people believe that we are not alone in the galaxy. There have been theories that have come up and claims that have been ascertained for years. Whether we get to know if we have life on other planets or not depends solely on the kind of research we carry out. For this reason, scientists are working on ensuring that we have more space telescopes orbiting the Earth and other planets. However, they need to be more powerful and look beyond infrared lighting to give us better answers on different planetary life. For now, we watch with bated breath as we hope to see if our brother planet, Proxima b, has any life on it. If you love content like this and want to know more about the James Webb Space Telescope and Proxima b, please subscribe to our channel. We make videos every week, do telescope reviews, and look at the evidence of Earth-like features on other planets as we search for life outside our world. The fascination with Proxima b stems not only from its proximity but also from the potential it holds for future exploration. Scientists are increasingly utilizing advanced techniques to study the planet's atmosphere and surface conditions. New modeling approaches help predict the climatic patterns on Proxima b, considering its unique orbital characteristics. The planet's position within its star's habitable zone offers intriguing possibilities for liquid water, a crucial element for life as we understand it. Furthermore, ongoing research into extremophiles, organisms that thrive in extreme conditions on Earth, broadens our understanding of where life might exist elsewhere. These organisms demonstrate that life can endure in environments previously thought inhospitable. This opens up the prospect that Proxima b, despite its challenges, could host life forms adapted to its specific conditions. International collaborations in space research are becoming more common, pooling resources and expertise to tackle the complexities of exoplanet studies. As technology advances, instruments like the upcoming HabEx and Louvoir will provide unprecedented insights into distant worlds. Public interest in astrobiology is growing, prompting more funding and support for exploratory missions ultimately bringing us closer to answering the age-old question. Are we alone in the universe?